everyone's going to start camping out in their backyard. It's just too hot inside. I have uh, thought about it. I thought of coming in early from work, maybe sleeping on yeah. some of our couches with Seriously. some air conditioning. Oh, yeah. And unfortunately, today's not going to be the last day we're seeing that. We've got a little bit more of this time with extreme heat still sticking around. But at least we know at this point that there is an end in sight. We're going to have to wait a little while as we wait for Hurricane K to make its way up Baja. We're going to continue to see that really calm down quite quickly as we've got lots of very cold ocean water. That's going to really start take a lot of the steam out of Hurricane K. But you can see just how beautiful this image is that slowly starts making its way up to the north. It's going to be calming down, but it's also going to bring up with it some significantly cooler air, break down the high pressure system that's been sitting around us over the last few days, making us just so warm. And with that high pressure, still beautiful, clear conditions this morning, really limiting any area of that marine influence that could keep us cooler and what we're so used to seeing keep us cooler. That's not going to be here once again today. A few areas with some very light fog, but even that's not going to be particularly impactful for this morning. Now we do have an excessive heat warning in place. We've been talking about this for over a week, but now it's two separate warning. So the first warning is for the interior valleys and that is through Thursday night. That is that excessive heat warning that we've been talking about for quite a while. But then last night we saw a second warning get issued. The second warning is for the coastal valleys through Friday night. This area that actually hasn't been in an excessive heat warning yet. We've been in an excessive heat watch, not a warning. So it's been upgraded in San Luis Obispo, Santa Maria, Lompoc and the San Inez Valley. That's all the way through Friday night when that extreme heat is going to be continuing. But after Friday, cooler conditions are on their way. So really good news there. Continuing to see that dangerous heat though for the next few days. Now your area forecast for today, 108 in Paso Robles, 100 degrees. Once again in San Luis Obispo, 88 in Santa Maria, 87 in Lompoc, 87 in Santa Barbara as well for today. Along our north coast, not too bad. 111 in San Miguel, so really warm in those interiors, but cooler at the coast still. 75 in Cayuca, 77 in San Simeon, 84 degrees in Avila Beach in the five cities region. Really comfortable conditions along those beaches for some. 75 degrees in Pismo Beach, 105 in California Valley, 95 degrees in Napomo, and 107 in Shandon. And in Santa Barbara County, we're going to continue to be seeing that extreme heat. 107 in Solving, 106 in San Inez, 99 in Los Alamos, 90 degrees in Vandenberg, 87 degrees in Goleta. Now, big changes are on their way. Warm conditions for today and tomorrow, even through Friday, but then significantly cooler conditions for the weekend and some possibilities of rain. So good news there. That's going to make its way here by Saturday, really bringing that chance of rain from Hurricane K. So let's look at the current conditions with that. It's going to track its way up Baja, really slowly start to quickly die out as it heads a little bit closer to us here on the coast. We're going to continue to see it move out of the area, but some of those lingering bands of moisture and cooler air is going to make its way here and make it significantly more comfortable as we head into the weekend and next week. And we could see some significant rain chances. The best rain chances, unfortunately, are just along our south coast, but everybody has at least some chances for rain coming up with the storm. So good news there. We just need to get to the weekend for some rain and much cooler conditions. Neil and Janelle, back to you.